What's up guys, and today I'm going to do another lot of Cisco practice questions, and today I'll be doing static routing and troubleshooting. Got a nice couple of commands there. So, we're going to the first question, what command is used to view your routing table? IP route show, show IP route, show route table, table route show. Uh, that doesn't look very well English. Uh, generally they have show at the front, so I've eliminated two there for you guys. And it is B, show IP route. 300, what does the following entry on the routing table signify S with an asterisk and then four zeros with an administrative distance and via 56001 DNS server, gateway of last resort, NAT enabled router, address of the DHCP enabled router. Uh, if you saw my other video regarding networking things related to Gateway of Last Resort, yeah, that's right, I did a video about that, uh, you would know that that is a Gateway of Last Resort address, which is sort of the default route that it goes through, and that is the answer. 301, using the following output, how will data be sent to 2613.45.222? Uh, so we got a bit of output here, show IP route, and then we've got connected static IGRP rip. Okay, we have last resort not set yet, and then it's got a static route here along with two that are connected, so they're directly connected, and that is statically assigned by an administrator. And then we've got what they go out to interface wise. So we've got uh, how will the data be sent to this address here? So if you have a look, we've got a few addresses here. It'll be sent out fast Ethernet 1. 26002, uh, serial 000, serial 0001. Okay, so if we have a look through, it's on the 26 networks. That's a massive pointer here. The directly connected network here, and that is coming out of serial 000. So it's basically reading between the lines. The answer in this case is C. It'll be set out serial 000. 302, you are configuring router on a stick. Which of the following commands would create a sub interface on the router? So obviously we've got our general interfaces with fast Ethernet, things like that. And we've got uh, create sub interface 20, sub interface FA 0.2, interface FA 0.2, config sub interface. So these two are pretty similar here. I guess that is two uh, A and D R, but it is one of these two. And so we've got interface fund then the controller there um, and sub so it's either sub interface or interface that is the sub interface of the of the uh, syntax so the answer here is C 303 we've got another output how will the data be sent to 29 66 84 and 2 then we've got some networks connected here uh, static is a 29 and 26 and 25 are connected so going by before that when we had the similar network we obviously need to identify the 29 network and as we read here basically it's just reading the output uh 29 via 26002 so the answer here is d 304 we've got another lot of outputs here uh data will be how will data be sent to 25 202 so we've got another lot of output here and if we just look where 25 is here in the, the output, the connected networks, uh, it gives us the answer, which is A, data will be sent at fast Ethernet 01. 305, using the output shown below, which resulted from the show IP route command, what is the hop count to reach the 29 network? And then we got uh, static and then the 29 network, 1 to 5 via 26002. So again, it's just a matter of reading the numbers and basically reading the output and this here is the administrative distance and the answer is B5 so that means there's five hops between point A and point B and that's all folks thanks you thank you very much for watching on really appreciate you guys joining in on the Cisco roller coaster online computer coaching.com my website there we'd love it if you guys checked it out plenty of free videos and content on there for you guys and I've also got a free Cisco resource in the description below as well, so feel free to click into that if you're keen on that. Also, uh, um, I'll use this VPN, which is really handy. I'll check that in the link as well if you guys want it. It's a really, really good product. I absolutely love it. I'll use it. I'll breathe it. So certainly would highly recommend you guys going over to them and uh, seeing what you reckon. It's, uh, it's really good. 40 bucks a year. 
basically, yeah, a couple of, yeah, about 0.10%, uh, 0.10 cents a day or something like that, or 11 cents a day. So very affordable. Uh, thanks again for hanging around, guys. I'll see you all on the next video.